You know you want to be future leaders in science and technology, pushing the frontiers of knowledge for a better tomorrow. Passion is the most important thing. Your profession will be one of your profoundest loves. Through the internet, anything is possible. Theories can be shared, and you don't have to be a professor with multiple degrees to have your ideas valued. Essentially, what we're learning how to do is to create life in what were non-living materials, completely merging digital and physical, and completely blurring the boundary between animate and inanimate. Personally, I think there's no limit to how far we can go. But if you're thinking about Planet B as another place we should live, uh, forget it. We got to protect this one. When you learn to use computers and code, what you are actually doing is augmenting your brain's ability to handle mathematics. Five three six two two seven one one seven nine zero eight six nine nine four eight one zero two seven one one six one eight five. We start off by memorizing our math facts when, in fact, we don't need to because numbers are logical. You don't need to memorize them because they're logical. Make as many failures as fast as you can, and that way you'll get to the, the right answers. <laughs> Not knowing things is the foundation of how you figure things out, how you discover the new ways to move the world forward. Build it, break it, fix it. You should as quickly as possible get a prototype out into the world and see what works and what doesn't work. Don't be afraid to experiment or to mess around. That's one of the traits that pretty much every successful scientist shares. Our founders wanted you to do science and technology to make the world a better place, to lift the economy, to solve social problems, to work together. When you see your finished product and you hear an audience enjoying what you've done, you know it was worth it. You know it was worth all the hard work. All the advancements in technology and science, they don't matter if we're not evolving as a human race. It's never too early. You guys are not too young. Don't let anyone tell you that. When you start to build things as an electrical engineer, you realize that they're complicated. And getting them to work requires that you get control over the complexity. Too often, we get caught up in the cycle of trying to come up with the most complex and fancy solutions. But in reality, it's the more straightforward and intuitive solutions that are always best, and many times, just as effective. Look in your heart. What are you interested in? Bring that to the world. And the more I contemplate, the more gratitude I feel for being alive and for living now in an amazing age of wondrous technology, an age in which we can conceive of and affect a better future for all of us.